Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. We are doing a three cup flip cup painting today and I've actually got some inspiration. So my video, painting video number 69 is my inspiration. So it's this one here. Originally I was gonna call it Inferno, but it is now called Tree of Life and got a lot of comments on Facebook and a lot of people really like the colors together. So I thought, why not see how the colors are gonna look in a flip cup? So they'll either look really good <laughs> or really bad. We're gonna find out soon enough. I've got a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I've got about 100 grams of paint and pouring medium in each cup. I've added three drops of silicone, treadmill silicone, to each cup as well. And we're just going to do two layers. Eh, I could probably do three, but what do you think? Three layers or two? Well, let's see what it looks like after. After the first layer. Okay, it's gonna be two layers. I'm just gonna add a bit more. So first color in is a brilliant yellow green. It's a very bright color. Our next one is light green permanent. These are all Liquid X paints. paints. And I'm actually layering the same order I put them in the six, number 69 painting. It was a six compartment split cup. So doing it the same order. Next color is Brilliant Blue. There we go. Then we've got Deep Purple. Yep, deep, sorry, deep violet, not deep purple. Giving you names of colors that don't exist. Okay, then we got Pyrol Red. And I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. It feels like I am, but I'm not sure. And then our last color is cadmium orange hue. Got quite a few bubbles. Made the paints yesterday. They've been sitting about 24 hours. Okay, layer number one is done. So we'll add our second layer. So yeah, no white or black in this one. So lots of bright colors. Just seeing which one needs more green. I haven't done a flip cup in a while. But just, yeah, the thought came to me yesterday. I did a ring pour, wasn't, wasn't happy with it in the end. That's video number 70. You know, kind of got the effect, but as I'm doing the rings, I'm like, either I'm shaking too much or my hands wobbly. Like I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. Could just be as simple as need to practice that technique more. So I'm sure everyone's got some techniques that you picked up 
easy, like right away, it was super easy for you, made sense, and then other ones you've tried and tried and tried, and you haven't really been able to get much out of it. You know, and I know practice makes perfect. So I will continue practicing techniques. Or the ones that I like the look of. I really hope this is going to look pretty cool. Mix my paints. One part paint to one and a half parts pouring medium, give or take. A few of the colors I had, it, had not had it, had it is not a word. Had to add a bit more paint because they were too thin. And other ones, it worked perfect. I think I did pretty good with splitting up my paints into two layers here. I know in the past I've done a few where I didn't put enough in the first layer and then my second layer was super thick and big. Still looking about the same. Two colors left. We're getting there. And I apologize, I do have the sniffles. I'm trying my best not to sniffle. So if I do do it or if I have done it, my bad. Trying my best not to. Uh, I hope wherever you are, you're having wonderful weather. We are shoveling out. We had a whole bunch of snow that got dumped over one day. I think I shoveled three times the front of my house. Did it twice while it was still snowing, just because it was that wet, heavy snow, heart attack snow. And I knew if I let it go too, too much, get too, too high, it would be too hard to shovel. So did it twice, then the next morning went out and got the rest of it shoveled. The wind had been kicking up all night, so there was some areas like uh, like snow drifts. If you don't live in a snowy area, a snow drift is pretty much how it sounds. The wind blows the snow and it compacts it down and builds it up at the same time, if that makes sense. So you'll see a sidewalk and part of it will be bare cement, but then another part will be a foot high of snow that's been compacted down from the wind. So that's what we had, but I got it all shoveled. It warmed up, lots of melt, melt, melting yesterday. Uh, Starting to warm up now today, but not as warm as it was yesterday. My last cup, so sad, doesn't have enough in there. Okay, so I did spray my cups with silicone. It's just a silicone spray from the automotive department. And use a paper towel, kind of wipe it around in there. Get get the extra out. I oh, don't know if you heard that, but that's my cat. He's at the top of the stairs, at the door, crying to get in. 
He doesn't understand why he's not allowed in right now. Not sure if the camera's picking up some of these blobs, but they're nice and bright. Super nice and bright. Just waiting for the cups to release. So I think what I'm gonna do is outside ones I'm gonna pull down, I'm gonna flip it around, move this one to the other side and pull down. Why does it not look like it's released yet? What the heck is going on? Okay, well, it's been well, probably close to a minute. Usually I can see it on the side that it's released. It doesn't look like it's released yet. Well, here goes nothing. Very red. There's one cup. Hopefully it's just not a red mess. Considering I put green in first and that should be the color showing but it probably didn't release all the way just checking in the cup no it did Ooh, this one's more purple very nice just gotta move that over it's about to go off the edge So this is a level two canvas. I had bought a whole bunch of them on sale at Michael's and I was like, you know, I gotta use them. Oh yeah, look at those colors. Sorry, I sniffled again. Nice and bright. Okay, we're gonna go that way first. Good light. There we go. There was part of it, they weren't kissing yet and I was like, what the heck? Come back. Not holding this very nicely. Gonna go over this edge. Come back. Let's turn it around. Very nice and bright. Oh, I didn't quite get all the way over on that one edge. Oh no! Well, let's fix that right now. Got over on that one. I'm just gonna pull some of this red. Just to get where my finger was. Okay, now that I got paint all over my paint utensil. That cell right there looks almost pink. We're gonna torch, see what we can pull up. Get some bubbles popped.
couple of bubbles that I gotta pop. Here's one. Got some cute cells coming up. Might need a few more in the red there. Just wanna get these bubbles popped. I don't know why my torch wasn't popping them. There's one obvious one right there. Okay, do we need any more torching? We got a good amount there. I feel like we need just a little bit more there. I think that's looking pretty good. I got a little close in there. Fortunately, I'm going to lose that area there, and it looks so cool. Let's get them growing a bit more and over the other edge. Paint back in the center. There we go. Now, do I need more torching? Kind of feel like I do. Feel it's just a little too bare down there. Let's give it a go. Okay. Oh, we got some little ones coming out now. Very nice. So definitely bright, very bright colors. I think I got some good cells in here. Quite happy with what I'm seeing. Sorry, just wiping my hands again. Make sure I got all my corners. I'm pretty sure I did. Looks like it. Yeah, I think this one's turned out pretty good. I'm actually surprised how much the red and orange have taken over. But there's a little bit of the blue there bluish purple there so I think we're not too shabby. I think I can zoom you in a bit further. There. What do you think? I'm not sure what it reminds me of, but I'm really liking this one. The little cells down there, they've grown a little bit. Yeah, there's some cute cells. Like there's one there that is yellow, red, purple, blue, purple, blue, purple. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.